guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you think I look very similar to last week's video, that's because I just got done filming last week's video. And I'm going to go ahead and film now because I actually took the time to do my makeup and my hair. And so I'm just going to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. So I have been obsessed with watching Dollar Tree videos and Target uh, Bullseye Playground videos. So in case you don't know, um, Dollar Tree is a place where everything is a dollar and the Target Bullseye Playground I think used to be called the Target Dollar Spot and it's still called that um, but if you go on their website it's called the Playground. Um, anyways, so I went and I had to do some errands today and I decided to quickly, quickly stop in to Target and just see what they had because I've seen a lot of cute things and today I was watching again some like shop with me videos and saw some stuff that I was like, oh, I would really, really like to own that or give that as a gift. So I just went ahead and stopped in and my quick like 10 minute trip turned into about a 30 minute trip. But that's okay. So before I start talking about <laughs> other things that don't need to be talked about, let's go ahead and get into the video. So Valentine's Day is obviously over and Retail never looks back. So even before Valentine's Day was over, they started putting out the Easter and spring decor at Target. And what are you doing? Don't eat your fur. She found this on the ground and started eating it. If you should, don't eat it. Don't search it out. Gross. I was saying, um, the Target dollar spot has now blown up with spring and Easter uh, merchandise, and I am so happy. Spring is my second favorite season. Everything is coming to life. The other day we had a, like, 68 or 72 degree day. We had the windows open and the balcony porch door open and drove around with windows down and it was great. So I am so ready for spring. That kind of kicked my brain into being like everything needs to be springified. The first thing I picked up was this bunny tail toss. Um, it's an indoor game. I don't know. It just comes with these little puffy pom-pom looking things and they're supposed to be, bun be bunny tails which is morbid a little bit. Um, but anyways, it's a toss game. I don't know if you toss it into like a bowl or if you just toss it around and hit one another. Um, but I picked these up for my niece and nephew for their Easter basket. There's 10 count and there's two of them so they each get a row so no one will fight. And I thought this could be a double like game because when winter comes their mom can put these in like a bucket and they can have an indoor snowball fight. So it has dual purposes. The real reason I purchased these was because I purchased these. Um, and these are bunny slingshots. So I got the blue one for um, my nephew and then the pink unicorn for my niece. Um, the boys comes with a white bunny tail, but hers, since it's not technically supposed to be a bunny, it's supposed to be a unicorn slingshot, has like a cotton candy looking puff with blue and pink. So I got these and they will be going in their Easter baskets. Second thing I got are again for the, my niece and my nephew for their Easter baskets. These were $3 um, and so was the other stuff I just mentioned. And they had little bird, they're bird houses and they come with a little bit of paint. Um, but obviously it just red, blue, and yellow is going to be a boring house. So I would suggest getting acrylics or something to paint or to add to it. Um, they did have ones that had little ladybugs on them and ones that had like little designs. But my niece is going to be three this year uh, and my nephew it's just I was like eh, let's let them do their own thing they're both very creative they're both very smart so I was just like let's just get them plain ones and they can do what they want and then not only is this a fun little craft but then their mom can like hang these outside and then they can bird watch and learn about birds the things I purchased are these eggs um, one of these eggs is for me to decorate the apartment and the other is for my niece and my nephew <laughs> um, I'm hoping that I can get together with them and do like Easter eggs. Decorate your own eggs. It includes 12 eggs and 5 mini markers. But again, um, the markers probably aren't that high quality, so I would use like Crayola markers. Um, and at first I thought they were going to be, I don't know why I thought they were going to be ceramic, but they're actually plastic. 
and they come in this little egg carton. So I'm going to hopefully have time or a point maybe on a Sunday after church to get together with my niece and my nephew uh, and just have a little fun creating these. What's also cool about them is I'm a big sucker for keeping, th like keeping things, uh, sentimental things. So this way their mom can keep these and when they're teenagers she can decorate the house with them and when their significant, uh, significant others come over she can be like, oh! did when they were little um so i have one for them and then i have one for me which i probably won't be painting because i just like the white eggs to use for decoration um, was one that actually as you can see has fallen apart a little bit um these are fabric carrots and they had fallen out this one was just like this and so i looked at it and i was like oh wow three dollars three dollars for one carrot i can totally make this um so i'm not gonna buy it if i if it was a dollar i would um, but then I looked, saw the other designs and I went to look at them and I noticed that they didn't have a tag. So I looked back at this one and I actually decided to read and it says three count. So I knew that these went with this, which did make them a dollar a piece. So I ended up purchasing them um, and I just think they're so cute. These next two items were just a dollar each and they are little carrots. I'm a very big bunny decor person. I love Peter Rabbit. I have always loved rabbits. Um, and so when I decorate for spring, I don't, I decorate for spring. I don't decorate for Easter because Easter passes, but I like to keep my spring decor up well through April and into May. So, um, I generally do more like pastels and rabbits and just spring in general. So I have these, not quite sure where I'll use them, but there were only two left. They were, again, a dollar and they're wooden and I just thought they were really cute. So I picked those up. Alright, so the next three things I got are for my fairy garden, which I will be creating. I actually don't have a green thumb at all. In fact, I kill plants. They, I purchase them and the next day they're dead. I think I give them too much love. I've bought special soil. I have bought the fertilizer stick, like the sticks. I have watered them religiously and they still manage to last me like a week. They die. Um, however, my boyfriend does have a green thumb and he has volunteered to make me a nice little uh, garden on my deck so that way he will keep them alive and I get to buy my things for my fairy garden. So uh, I do have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree. So if you want to see my like fairy collection, let me know. Leave a comment down below. If you don't, I'll probably still do a fairy garden tour once it's like all up and about, but that probably won't be till like May. Uh, anyways, this first thing and all three of these things were a dollar and this first one is a little mushroom. It's so cute. Um, this next one is just a little random doorway. I thought that I could put this at the entrance of my fairy garden and then have like a little stone pathway that leads to where all of like the little houses are. And then the last uh, piece that I purchased was this ladybug. How cute is she? And I have the little fairies from the Dollar Tree and then they can, they won't actually, I, won't, I will not glue them on, but it will look like this is like one of their like vehicles or something that they can like ride and stuff. Kind of like in Thumbelina where the prince rides the bumblebee. So that was my thought process on this. The next thing I got is something that I actually have two of already, but I absolutely love, love cake stamps. Use these in my kitchen, in my living room. I have a couple in my bedroom right now. Um, with things on them and it was a dollar and it was the last one and I have a problem guys I buy things just because they're the last ones because then otherwise I won't get them. The next things I got are these note card sets. Uh, this one comes with eight, this one came with six and they were also a dollar and I really really love the it looks to me like Sakura Blossoms it just says floral it doesn't say which but I thought they were just really, really cute. I feel super duper duper lucky for getting these next four items. They were all a dollar and they are these little egg holders. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I'm probably going to put the eggs. I'm not going to like put real eggs in them. I'm going to probably put the little white ones. But how cute are they? And at first I only found these two and I just found them in a random location like in one of the toys toy bin things and I was like you know what I'm gonna get them and I can always come back and double check and see if they get more in so I picked went ahead and put these in my little basket then I was walking around and I found this one 
I found an orange one, and so I was like, yes, that's three, because I my table seats four. And so I picked this one up, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, it's fine, I'll be missing one, but it's fine, I'll just keep checking back, and eventually I'll find one, hopefully. And then I went to go look at some other items that were on the lower shelving end caps, and I found this one towards the back of one of them, and it's purple, and it's so cute, and I love how they're pastel, because I love pastels and pinks and all that so these will be going uh, on my table for Easter and eventually maybe I'll use them for real eggs when I learn how to make the eggs that are supposed to be made to put in this but I'm super excited they're so pretty and I'm so happy that I got four of them on my first try the next two items I'm gonna go super fast because I only have about four minutes left um, the next two items are these bunny rabbits they were incredibly hard to scan because I went through self check out and it was just a pain but they were three dollars I think they're very 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 cute uh, and these will probably be going somewhere on my mantle this is what they look like and then the very last item that I purchased was a dollar and it is this little trinket uh, thing it says it is a soap dish or a trinket dish so it, I love the rose pattern I think it's Kind of like vintage but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or if I am going to go ahead and give that to um, someone for a gift so that is what I purchased at Target thank you so much for watching get to like comment and subscribe for more videos uh, and yeah if you have purchased things from the Target dollar spot let me know what you're buying let me know if you found anything new I will have pictures of some other things that I liked but did not purchase after this video uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later later days